This problem involves a straight beam of length 4A supported by a roller and a pin loaded by a couple and a uniformly distributed load. My task is to construct and plot the shear force and bending moment diagrams. I will pursue this task by making cuts and constructing the functions v of x and m of x explicitly. To do this, I will begin with calculations of the reaction forces at B and D. Note that since there are no other horizontal forces, the horizontal reaction at D is equal to zero, and the equilibrium equations for the reactions RB and RD give me these answers. Now, I have a free body diagram for the entire beam. It shows the external forces. All of them are, of course, known. To determine the internal forces on this beam, I recognize that I have to make three cuts. The first cut will be between the couple and the force on the left. The second cut will be between the force and the distributed load. And the third cut will be somewhere along the segment where the distributed load is applied. I analyze each cut separately. So for the first cut, which is between the couple and the force, the free body diagram consistent with the positive signs for the shear force and bending moment looks like this. And the equilibrium equations involve some of the moments above the point, capital X, where the cut is made, and the salt for the shear force and bending moment. Next, I will look at the cut between the force and the distributed load. The total length of this segment is x. a is the distance between the couple and the force, and the distance between the force and the cut correspondingly is x minus a. Again, I write the equilibrium equations using this point as the pivot for the moment equation and I obtain the following answers. Finally, I make a cut somewhere along the segment on the right where the distributed load is applied and I obtain the following free body diagram. The procedure is the same. The equations are a bit lengthier, but nevertheless, they're not that difficult. Once we solve them, we obtain the expressions for V and M. Now I have the expressions for V and M on all three segments. And I just simply plot these functions. I collect it all in one diagram. And uh, you could go back and verify that the functions shown here were the solutions of equilibrium equations on each segment.